Hello there, welcome back to episode 6 of my Matchless Kung Fu gameplay for my very first character who's still suffering from some cold maladies. Today we are going to go deeper into this world. My plan was quite simply put to just expand the map a little bit and well, let's see what we can do. I clearly feel as if I don't have that many options anymore on the current tiles. I don't feel like I'm on par with those bandits. They seem to be just slapping me. And I just figured that we will just save up money until I can uh, buy me a new piece of map. But for now, I need to find some place where people actually have money for me because, you know, I want to sell something. And a lot of thanks to the many, many comments in the uh, almighty and wise comment section. You guys are really, really helping me out. And I also try to keep those uh, tutorial messages under control. I didn't even know that they were, that this uh, weird thing that was uh, hovering below my character was a tutorial message. Bothered somebody wildly. I am very, very sorry. I'm still try to get myself here covered. I don't know why, but this game really does confuse me way more than other games in the uh, same genre did, but that's mostly because of the um, many things you can do here. This game has so many different things that it offers to you that I'm always struggling to find my way around here. And to make matters worse, this game only has one um, save file, so I didn't want to play ahead too much so I know everything when I do my first gameplay here, but at the same time, this leaves me much, uh, well, much more disoriented than I usually am with, game with games like these. I would just try and take myself some time, but, uh, well, where is somebody where I can sell something to? Where are all the people with money? I mean, I know that there is another merchant ship back there. Maybe we can sell something there. But uh, people are all just sleeping there. So it turns out at the grocery cabinets, I can only buy stuff from those people. We cannot sell stuff to them. So let's see if we can trade with this fella. Yeah, he has money. So deal of your life. You take all my rocks, I take coins. Deal? So there has been a really smart uh, tip there that I should mostly focus on things that I can easily acquire while trading and I really appreciate that because this game has just so many different things it throws at you that this is uh, probably a very very smart way of dealing with the problems. Alright, so we got ourselves 1000 coins Turns out I think I should just be talking to these people when I want to sell them something. And uh, yeah, farming seems to pay off wildly as well. So, well, I need to learn cooking somehow. Is that question mark trying to tell me? So, my business is struggling recently. So, what do you want from me? 2,000. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fool. All right, you just dropped me all of my, from all of my money. I know I just wanted to do something else, but whatever. So let's see. This guy doesn't have any. Let's see, leechcraft, taming. So can you teach me taming? That would be amazing. I mean, after all, I just gave you all my money. So, after learning the taming ability, use traps. Place the animal's favorite food, stun the animal, and then tame it. All right. Okay, so horses like to eat weeds. Eagles, meat. Monkeys, pine nuts and plums. Snakes, meat and eggs. Minks, meat and eggs. Chicken like worms and goo. All right. That's all something. Yeah, well. I hope I can uh, check out where the, uh, what these things are later down the road again. Okay, well, so let's see what that does. I'm, I'm way too curious to say no to something like that, you know. But at the same time, we now are again unable to progress here. By the way, 
Another sect has appeared while I was logging off last time from the game. The game told me that it's time to materialize another sect. So we have the Doom sect now on uh, on the map. Because I felt as if these guys would be fun to meet and greet as well. So we're just going to chop some trees until we will find another enlightenment. I am really scared now. I don't dare to go close to the pir uh, pirates. Bandits. I've been told that they shouldn't be as strong as they are, but that doesn't help me anything as they are demolishing me just by stepping on my toes. That's really, really, um, well, humiliating. But at least I can punch trees and they cannot do anything against that. Appreciate all the sandbox flair in this game, but I feel as if I maneuvered myself a little bit into a... Uh, bad spot here in terms of progression. I mean, I shouldn't have spent that money to that guy, obviously, but, you know, I couldn't stop myself. So we're not going to be punching any more monkeys anymore. What does the monkey want from me? Why does he have a question mark? Does he also want 2,000 money from me? Monkey? Yo, monkey, why are you? Oh, whatever. I don't care about the... So... Wood seems to be much lower in, in terms of weight than stone. I mean, obvious. Let's see how it sells. Because trees are available on my turf massively. I think we really need to consider how to expand money-wise and then grow the map. I think I could have and should have done that a while ago. But, you know, when you're disoriented like me in Cultivation World... And people are breaking your legs randomly, and you're breaking your legs by yourself, and you just learned to fly on water, and you didn't even know that you were able to do that. You know, whatever. My lord, I'm afraid that the little bandit's identity will dishonor your reputation. Yeah, this guy just randomly joined me, by the way. I don't know what to think about that. But you can be a woodcutter now. Right. So, he's totally my sub. I don't know what to think about that. But Chinese do love their little power exchange games, don't they? Whatever. So we're going to go and punch more trees. I really don't know what I can do with this guy. Maybe you guys know. As usual, I appreciate all your input. You are, you are really, really helpful. And I deeply, deeply appreciate. So there we go. Let's see what that'll do. Wood seems to be that one material that we can get masses off without any bigger issues that's pretty good we should keep that in mind but the side products from wood wait a sec what why did i suddenly receive poo uh, water it doesn't matter too much i i just uh, i just proceed okay we just proceed all right so let's see if we can find somebody else we can sell stuff to yeah so they all do have some sort of money but that wood is really not worth the pain how about that licorice do have licorice all over the place here yeah well okay it's a tad bit better but uh far from being good anywho we're uh we're receiving some money out of that, and that's what matters. What's that light there? Hey, Jui. Where? What are you? Ruthless Orion. Okay, I, I really don't know what to think about that. So I've been told that I should take a look on my clothing's, uh, clothing options as well. But I think restores vigor each turn plus five. Max cold stacks minus one. All right. Max vigor. Max cold stacks minus one. Gain spike upon entering battle. All right. I don't think that I have too many very useful things yet. I still hope that at some point I can get myself something that allows me to... What's it called again? Um... stack cold a little bit higher than the tuna because the tuna only gives me three layers of cold and obviously i need more cold influence than that mm -hmm. however that's supposed to work i really have no clue 
still a little bit confused about all that uh, stack system and all. But I mean, we're we're making steady progress money wise. I really wonder what that guy will yield at the end of the day for the money that I gave him. I really don't know. But I do know that I'm unable to stack up 20 stacks of cold, and I don't have any clue how I should get the food that the animals like to tame one. Although, well, probably... Wait a sec. Did that meditation point want from me that I actually tamed something, or that I know how to tame? I need to recheck now. I can't remember anymore, therefore I want to know. I mean, these stones up there, they need to respawn anyways. So, there we go. Sandstorm. Oh. Sandstorm gone. So, here. Yeah, I just need to learn the taming. Hell yeah. Wonderful. So I, I really got to stick that more onto my mind that every skill in this game can be learned from somebody else. That's something I didn't use enough yet. So Wonderful. So I can expand now. I, I hope so. One tile. And I can buy one after that. So Acquire skill. Beast wave beginner. Cost to kick a Two times kick attack damage for every one animal domesticated. So this is a skill for beast masters. Interesting. That's really interesting. I like what this game does in that regard. So let's pick up some extra vigor. I feel as if this is something that I won't regret. Okay, enlightenment stone. We got that already. And we need to domesticate animals for this. All right. Another wolf. I also appreciate all your guys' help on these things. I really, uh, I, this, this was really, really insightful. So this this really helped me out a ton. Thanks for being so patient with uh, with me. So let's see. Um, hidden weapon attacks. Yeah, why not? Let's get the most out of it. Roll. Doesn't matter, does it? There we go. So I didn't use the guard move wisely. All right. Still wrapping my head around that whole system, but you know, we got here a lot better uh, results than usual. There we go. That's what you get, my my friend. So, yeah, with meat I could tame other animals. I should probably not sell all my meat there. So let's get out of the heaty area there, because obviously just provoking maladies here. Speaking about which. Is there already something? So, here we go. Let's heal that real quick. There it goes. So, starting to really feel a little bit more in touch with all that. But still, it still feels all so damn foreign. But, well, starting to enjoy myself here more and more. That's one thing that I can't say for sure. Alright, expanding new area. What do we have here? Gather monkeys wine. Acquire via... We acquire, we're supposed to acquire something, okay. Maple Manor. Red Cliff Grottoes. Rich mine. Rare mine. But scorching lava. Alright. Let's take that golden monkey ridge. I I am curious to see what it does. There we go. Gotta say this uh, this grid system, I if they put more and more effort into that, I can't see that work really well. But it does require way more tiles, and I feel like it does require way more randomization, but whatever. I'm I am somewhat very pleased about it, and somewhat uh, not so pleased, if you understand my what I mean. It's a little bit too foreseeable after you've played it for a while, because it's always the same uh, tiles. But at the same time, I really like what it does. So we need to punch another monkey, don't we? Because we need to gather monkey wine. And I already know that the best way to gather monkey wine is that. So, punches are the best thing here. 
So we can change some of those old moves into punches. Here it doesn't really matter what I'm taking anymore because I've already broken the opposition. Bam! Not bad, not bad. Not more damage than the last couple of times. Still not a one-shot yet, but uh, we're getting there, I'd say. So, taming. Pine cones or iron? I don't know why I should tame monkeys or, or anything like that, but, uh, you know, glad that I'm getting the opportunity. So let's punch some more monkeys and see where uh, when they will drop some monkey wine. Yeah, that's totally what you do in Cultivation World. Punch some monkeys. Favorite pastime sport. So, let's pick up some punches, and after that, well... Doesn't really matter. Would matter that I pick up as many of the same type as I can. One shot! Finally! I finally mastered the art of one shot. So, monkey's wine. That is done. And now we need to find the spot there. There we go. Let's see what kind of skill they want from me this time. 9 to 19 and snowstorm. And 10 sticks of venom ailment and be a veteran in palm usage ability. That's not the least little bit specific, luckily. I really want to know if I can acquire an item that shows me the time, because it's really the second spot out here that wants me to be here at a certain time. Well, we'll find out that. But now I'll be just gathering all those May lilies, and uh, I discovered that these are a lot of uh, money, worth a lot of money too. I do realize the longer I play this game, the more I realize that it's all about money. Capitalistic China says hi to you. Jokes aside, money is really a one thing that, that will get me ahead here, because the more money I got, the more map tiles I can unlock. And I don't think that I will be unlocking the necessary requirements for that enlightenment stone so quickly. I cannot imagine. There's a lot of uh, venom necessary. Still have to find out how the hell I can get that. But I mean, plucking some flowers and selling them is also something we can do. Apart from the fact that we are gathering mostly wild grass and uh, only partially those flowers. So, the trees, I abandoned them as a money-making pot uh, because they, they just don't drop enough money-making stuff. There's the bandit's place. Well, I should really try to upgrade one of my skills somehow and uh, see if I can't start beating one of those uh, guys for real, but at the same time, I, I have now learned that these guys actually have the option to outright kill my character. Or if I if they beat me, so I'd be I'd be very very sad if I'd be if I'd be dying because I wasn't uh, getting the message the last three times when I tried to punch them. We gotta come back, be overpowered. That's what I made out of that. All right, so let's see. The wild grass here seems to be quite worth something. Well, the May lilies at least are worth something. Let's try if my fellow sect friends are buying my inventory stuff. Fly on snow. Why are you flying on snow? Well, the bar is filling, so obviously I seem to be flying on snow. Whatever that skill does for me. Once it's finished, I mean. So I also wondered if I can be only member of one sect, or if I can now leave the one club and enter the other one. It's uh, pretty standard thoughts. But that Doom sect, those skills sound very interesting too. Plum tree, is that somehow different from other trees? Okay, the plums from these. Obvious. So trees seem to be only different in terms of their side materials that they're dropping. It's good to know. I really need, obviously, some more clothing to protect me from the cold as well. I don't want to know what this... Does this ice mine yield anything? It yields warm jade. How counterintuitive. 
So, there's a bandit force nearby doing evil things. Yeah, I'd be... Oh, I get a free thingy here. Nice. So, Lava Quarry, destroy facilities of all bandit dens. We have more of these quests. Make one cage. Alright. Detain one bandit. Iron Bone Stream. Okay, they're really hell-bent on uh, sending me to bandit quests now. So this is uh, tagged as medium difficulty, so we're going to take that. I mean, currently, I'm happy about any expansion of my map, because that gives me new options to explore the world. And after all, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I think I should really also consider increasing my skills here. So are you teaching anything that requires 10 stacks of gold? Yes, you are. Quickly, eat a tuna. Be massively stacked out on cold. Now please teach me something. All right. 12 stacks of cold. You gotta be kidding me. But uh, these I can learn now. So, Arctic Palm and Snow Reversal Sword. These two skills are, are really interesting and so far. Hey, did I wait now too long or what was the case? Eh, oh god, I, I, I really don't believe it. This is a little bit stupid. Oh, come on, now they... I need something that stacks better. So the problem is now that while he's considering his attitude to me... The cold stacks are dropping too low, and therefore, I'm not able to pull this off. This is a little bit, feels a little bit stupid, honestly. I really hope that devs might be willing to take a look about that, because that feels just wrong to be uh, in a situation like that, where I basically understood what I have to do, but the stuff is ticking down faster than I can act. <laughs> And, uh, okay. So you were not too rich. Too bad. I could buy a house in here. Just realized. So, you. Also, only 220 coin. They really don't have too much money here. It's a shame. So we can sell a grand total of 44 to you. I really need that money. There we go. Anybody else in here we can sell stuff to? No. Let's head back to the top of the mountain. So, yeah. Local economy game already got me. Hello. I want to sell something to you. Imagine you being the sect elder and some some wandering uh, low bob comes on by and asks you if you want if you wants to buy some wild grass from him. I'd be so kicking myself out of that door again. So the warm jade ear seems to be very valuable, so I think I'm going to keep it for now. There's only one point where I can gather that stuff so far. Therefore, I don't really want to wanna have it. So the monkey's wine is super heavy. Jeez, I have no clue. But it's also worth quite some money, so we're also gaining some weight back here. The flint is also quite heavy, so I'm going to sell that as well. Since it's always a side product of, stone, of the stone thingies here. And I'm going to sell away the iron chunks as well. We're just going to be acquiring ourselves a nice mining spot, and then it should be easy to get all that stuff back. Here we go. Finally. So now we can buy ourselves a new grid from the trader, and then we can explore a little bit. So. There we go. Very curious to see whether or not the trader has other grids in store than the ones that we were seeing the whole time or how that exactly works. So that ain't my farmland, so I can't use it. Just wanted to check how it actually works when I'm accessing other people's farmlands. I mean, I, I didn't expect to be uh, 
profiting from that, but so and there we go. So farming is actually really profitable. You really got to learn how to put up more farmland. Got to learn cooking. So I should look for people that are actually capable of cooking. That would be the the key. So ferret peak. Defeat ferrets. Well, we could do that. Evil Valley, Maple Manor, that thing again. Nine Trials Labyrinth. There's a lot of uh, material there to be gathered. Worms, too, and wolves. So I'm going to pick up the, the Ferret Peak, though. That sounds like a lovely place to hang out. All right. Got to say, I feel like what, what feels wrong mostly about the system is that I get to choose where those uh, tiles are going to be at. Uh, feels weird as if I if, as if it's wrong that I am selecting where the world's spawning. It should be not my decision if you get what I mean. So hey hi there. I've taken fancy oh yeah. Wanna buy some real estate? Got the right man. So three hundred and ten no prices, but whatever. I'm building up a neighborhood. This part of the game is actually really fun. That you can build houses and people come on by and buy them from you and then turn into NPCs that you can't interact with and whatnot. It's pretty cool. It's a lot of really interesting sandbox moves in this game that I really appreciate going on. Urgh. Come on, dude. Ah, oh, I need to. Press F and not space. So. Seriously, I gotta punch those little guys? Damn, I feel bad about myself already. But look at him go. He got a lot of moves there. Boy, oh boy. So. This would be the best course of action, but whatever. I personally do prefer acting a lot. So... That was not effective. Because I used up all my moves, didn't I? Yeah, there's no more... Why do I have so few moves on my hand? Yeah, whatever. Every time when I think I'm starting to understand this game's combat system, I, I suddenly don't. Oh well. That's a lot of fist moves. What is going on with that ferret, man? So... I really don't get the uh, monkey bionic thing so far. Wait a sec, we should guard moves because he's using a lot of uh, hidden weapon moves here in general. Good enough, good enough. Alright. This guy was much more resilient than I expected him to be. And uh, I think that was uh, the whole point of this uh, encounter here. This guy dropped some fangs that are actually really valuable. Warm Jade. Bet that we're supposed to gather that from here. Nice. So the loot from these little guys is actually really good, considering how small they are. But the fangs of them are worth a lot of money. So we've got to be friends with all the with the other sect leaders, at least so far. 
to be able to sell stuff to them because I learned that sect leaders are wealthy. Wealthy, wealthy. All right. So we have three ice mines here where we can gather warm jade. Probably I should consider this stuff as a trade good as well, now that I have a mine of that available in this uh, dimension. Because I don't see the ferrets being aggressive on me or anything. But I need to slap a couple of these guys more to acquire their um, skill, if I am not mistaken. Correct me where if I stand wrong, but uh, the last time I checked it was all about slapping enough of this, this creature to learn their move. But, uh, I'll leave that to the wisdom of the comment section. Guys will surely know what I'm talking about. So, that being said, it's time to say goodbye for today. I think we made amazing progress today. There's a lot of places that I can visit now, and I can't wait to see where it'll take us. I mean, I'll be beating some ferrets next time, obviously, because they are much tougher than they look. And we're going to check out the lava quarry, and hopefully those bandits wouldn't be too overpowered. And feel free to let me know what kind of skill is, would be a wise choice to be upgrading. I'm really considering the tortoise fist, but I really don't have any clue whatsoever. So, leave me comments. I asked enough questions, I think. A thumbs up or a subscription would be wildly appreciated as well. And there is also play a playlist link. No, that's not what I wanted to say, but there is a playlist link in the description box. This guy talking to me is really sidetracking me. So what I actually wanted to say, there is a link to my Let's Play channel down there, which needs subscribers. Once it has 1,000 subscribers, I'll be putting up way more Let's Play content there, and I'd be delighted if you'd give it a look. So have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.